हेलो फ्यूचर सी एस वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल आर यू पैशनेट अबाउट बिकमिंग अ चार्टर्ड अकाउंटेंट बट वरीड अबाउट द फाइनेंशियल बर्डन वेल आई गॉट सम फैंटेस्टिक न्यूज फॉर यू द इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ चार्टर्ड अकाउंटेंट्स ऑफ इंडिया इज ऑफरिंग अ रेंज ऑफ स्कॉलरशिप स्पेसिफिकली डिजाइन टू सपोर्ट सी ए स्टूडेंट्स लाइक यू वेदर यू आर जस्ट स्टार्टिंग योर जर्नी और आर डीप इन टू योर सी ए स्टडीज there's a scholarship opportunity that could be the financial boost you need to focus on your studies and achieve your dreams stick around as we will dive into all the details about these amazing scholarships and we will also see how you can apply for the same if you are new to my channel i request you to subscribe and hit the bell icon below so that you can get notified when i post new videos the student skill enrichment board board of studies operations grants various scholarships to its students the students are required to submit online application the automated scholarship process will select the students under various category namely merit merit cum need need based for economically weaker students and endowment scholarship the institute has earmarked rupees 100 crore as a corpus fund for disbursement of scholarships several endowment schemes initiated by individual donors trust society are also used eligible students can apply online at self service portal now we will discuss the different categories of scholarship so here are the various scholarship schemes for ca students so the first category is need based for economically weaker intermediate students the scholarship amount is rupees 1500 per month eligibility criteria students who are registered for intermediate course either through foundation route or through direct route income of parents should not be more than rupees 3 lakh per annum period of scholarship 9 months commencing from the month following the registration for the intermediate course additional 3 months if the student has completed orientation course and the it within first 9 months of registration for the intermediate course additional 3 months if the student has passed any one group in the intermediate examination within 12 months of registration for the intermediate course second category is need based for economically weaker final students scholarship amount rupees 1500 per month eligibility criteria students who are registered for final course income of parents should not be more than rupees 3 lakh per annum period of scholarship 30 months or remaining period of article ship whichever is less third category of scholarship is merit cum need based scholarship scholarship amount rupees 2000 per month eligibility criteria rank holders of intermediate examination other than those covered under merit scholarship students must be registered for final course before making the application income of parents should not be more than rupees 3 lakh per annum period of scholarship 30 months or remaining period of article ship whichever is less fourth category of scholarship is merit scholarship scholarship amount rupees 2500 per month eligibility criteria rank holders of intermediate examination whose names appear at serial number 1 to serial number 10 and in case the rank at serial number 10 continues to further ranks that is serial number 11 or to serial number 12 or so on then all such rank holders This paragraph explains that if a student ranks within the top 10 position in the CA intermediate examination 
they are eligible to apply for scholarship under this category additionally if multiple students share the same rank and this results in additional ranks like 11th or 12th being given to accommodate the tie all those students will be considered to apply for scholarship under this category in simple terms if more than one student shares a rank that extends beyond the 10th position all of them are eligible to apply for scholarship under this category the student must be registered for final course before making the application period of scholarship 30 months or remaining period of articleship whichever is less students can apply online for the scholarship by logging in at the self service portal now we will see the procedure to apply for the scholarship the first step is to log in into the self service portal after logging in choose the scholarship application form once you select the scholarship application form the information will be auto populated in the application form so you need to check if the auto populated information is correct in case any updates have to be made to this information you can update it once you confirm that the auto populated information is correct next you will have to provide the bank details in the given section along with parents annual income and submit the form so once the form is submitted a mail will be sent out to the student and in case you are doing articleship a copy of the mail will be sent out to your principal as well so in case you have applied for the scholarship and you are undergoing articleship your principal will approve the annual parents income certificate and for other students who are not yet undergoing articleship the member of ici will approve the parents income certificate and once this income certificate is approved a mail will be sent out to the student and after this process is completed your scholarship will be approved by the ICI and the amount will be disbursed to the student account after the selection process principal will be auto selected for students who are undergoing articleship other students have to select member to whom the form will be marked also for the students who are undergoing articleship your principal will need to validate your last 6 months attendance to make you eligible for the quarterly scholarship for every 6 months now we will see some facts regarding this scholarship scheme the first fact is when does ici notify eligible scholarship applicants regarding the selection and grant of scholarships the selection and grant of scholarship will be done on quarterly basis so for application received from 16th december to 15th march the grant will be processed quarterly on april for application received from 16th march to 15th june the grant will be processed quarterly in july for applications received between 16th june to 15th september the grant will be processed quarterly in october for the applications received from 16th september to 15th december the grant will be processed quarterly in january the next question addressed here is is the income eligibility criteria and a one time recommendation required on the self service portal yes this is a one time process the scholarship application of students will only be considered complete when the income and recommendation certificate is approved by the members on the self service portal as applicable in the following cases so case 1 students undergoing articleship must obtain the income certificate and recommendation from the principal under whom they are undergoing articleship case 2 students who have not yet started their articleship must obtain the income certificate and recommendation from any member of ici that is a chartered accountant the next question addressed here is when is the conduct and attendance certificate required in the portal for the release of installments following the selection and release of first installment of scholarship 
the conduct and attendance certificate is required in the portal for the release of subsequent installment as outlined below students currently undergoing articleship must provide a conduct certificate and attendance certificate biannually specifically in april and october from the principal under whom they are undergoing articleship for the release of next installment of scholarship students who have not yet commenced articleship must provide a conduct certificate by annually specifically in april and october from any chartered accountant for the release of the next installment of scholarship the last question addressed here is when will students receive the scholarship installments in their bank account scholarship installment will be dispersed to the students on a quarterly basis subject to the following conditions the students eligibility criteria will be verified quarterly conduct and attendance certificates are required semi annually on the self service portal the students must ensure that an active bank account number along with the bank ifsc code is provided correctly on the self service portal and there you have it ICAI scholarship are a golden opportunity to ease the financial burden and focus entirely on your CA journey. Remember, every bit of support counts, and this scholarship could just be what you need to achieve your dream of becoming a chartered accountant. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more updates and tips on your CA journey. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. so you never miss on any important updates best of luck with your scholarship application and i will see you all in the next video